statistics. Statistics for practical studies of collecting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities. Why study statistics at all? Why do we have a federal statistical system? Why a Census Bureau? What, what good is statistics? To answer this question, let's first talk about something else. Why a microscope? Well, a microscope is used for studying things that are, as the name may imply, microscopic. Microscopic. First of all, the size is to be invisible or indistinguishable without the use of a microscope. You need to look at something that's really, really tiny, too small for your eye to see, and you blow it up to a screen about yay big. This turns out to be really, really handy. If you want to study cells, for example, like bacteria, you want to understand food poisoning, you want to understand disease, you want to understand how viruses spread, you've got to be able to actually look at them, to see them. If you can understand how big they are, how small they are, what their shapes are, what their form is. If you can get the form, you can get the function, and you can get some understanding. You want to build a microchip? You need a microscope. Now, that means that a microscope is really, really useful for looking at things that are too small. Now, let's consider the kinds of questions that we answer with statistics. We talk about things like the population of the United States. The population of the United States. In 2010, there were 308 million people in the United States. You can't possibly know everyone. You can't talk to you. You can't, you as a person, you don't have enough time in your life to sit down with everybody and learn their story. But, you know, every 10 years or so, we at the Census Bureau ask a few questions of everybody. Age, sex, birth, where you live. These are important things to know. And with just those few questions, we can learn an enormous amount. You want to know where the hospitals go? You need to know uh, what cities have a large aging population. You want to know where the schools go? You need to know uh, where the cities and what neighborhoods have a lot of really young people. These kinds of questions, and it's all kinds of things, you know, birth rates, death rates. You want to understand the labor force, that's a statistical question. You want to understand employment, you want to understand earnings, you want to understand national earnings, you want to understand these questions, accidents rates, all kinds of things that we publish statistics on, that we measure statistics. They're all things that are too big to see at one time. They're too big for your eye to see. 308 million people, all of different ages, all different sex. We, we've got accidents happening spread out across a country of literally millions of square miles. It's too big to take in. But aha! A federal statistical system, statistics, we can take a slice of that country. Delicious! We can take a slice of the United States of America and we can shrink it down to a screen about yay big. You know, I've got a bunch of them back here. When you can take a big thing and shrink it down small enough to study, to understand, or at least part of it, that's useful. That's statistics. So you want to understand that something that's too small, like a cell or a microchip, you need to blow it up, you use a microscope. Statistics is a macroscope. That's why statistics. Not a bad analogy, okay? So the idea is if we want to study the whole United States, we have this idea of the United States as a whole population, right? That's a big set of things. And we take a slice, we call that a sample. And so a lot of statistics is about taking a sample and actually understanding the sample and from the sample inferring something to the whole population, okay? And so that's what we're going to study a lot. All right, so we're going to do an exercise. Um, for a few minutes and then probably take a break, but let's do this exercise.